Uh, Matt and Josh's old comics, uh, DC Weekly News. Uh, some of you are going to be sad. DC confirms the end of a fan favorite series, which I have not read, so I don't know if it's good or not, but I assume it is. Uh, a fan favorite DC series coming to an end revealed in the August solicits. Uh, DC's confirmed that Justice Society of America is coming to an end with issue 12, scheduled to go on sale August 28th. Mm. Series written by Jeff Johns with art by Tan, not Tan, Todd Nawak. Uh, per the description, as the team picks up the pieces from their last battle, Stargirl looks to the future and what it means to be a member of the first super team. Don't miss the final issue of the star studded run. Um, Justice Society of America launched in November 2022 and was described as, at the time as an ongoing monthly title. However, the series was hit with delays early in its run, and by the second issue, the series was recategorized, re this time as a miniseries. Justice Society of America has continued to be hit with hit with delays over its run with the next issue in the series, issue 10. Currently scheduled his stores on June 25th. Comic Book spoke with Johns when the series launched. And at the time, Johns said that the Justice Society of America was about exploring the group and its legacy in a new way. Quote, it's really exploring the Justice Society in a very different way than it's been explored before. I don't completely want to blow it, but I think it's going to be a surprise, surprise a lot of people the way the new Golden Age really sets up our main character. Uh, and it revolves around our main character, and it's going to be introduce a lot of JSA number one. A lot of JSA number one has a lot of new characters in there too. A lot of new heroes, new villains, and a new purpose to the JSA. So you'll have to see what they evolve into at one point in their long legacy. Um, I mean, everyone see everyone loves Jeff Jeff Johns as a writer for DC. I have not read any of this, so I don't know if it's good or bad. Um, obviously the delays hurt it. If people don't have, to have it on their pull list, or then they're going to miss it on issues because it's so sporadic. Sometimes, like, I don't, when I go to the, when I go to the comic book shelf at the LCS, I don't, everything I read, I don't necessarily have on my pull list. I'll look at the, I have certain things like, hey, I'll always take this, I'll always take that. But, like, yeah. I've been reading, uh, the current run of Superman, um, but I, and I'm, like caught up, but I haven't added my pull list just in case I'm like, hmm, I don't know. But if it had mm -hmm. skipped, then, you know, skipped for three months, but like, would I remember to get it next time? I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I don't always put everything that I'm reading on my pull list just in case. Like, some things, like Kill Your Darlings, which got nominated for an Eisner, I, was, I wasn't yeah. really into, so I didn't, like, I, you know, new series is like, I'll read three or four issues and, um, sometimes put on my pull list or I'll just I'll remember it right but yeah uh, delays definitely hurt sales mm -hmm. uh, okay James Gunn says we're still working on Brewster Gold series but debunks recent rumor so before we start this I couldn't remember the last time we talked about Booster Gold we were like thinking it's about like two weeks ago I think like, yeah I know and well for two, some reason, two videos two two videos ago maybe early April because yeah. we took a break I couldn't I couldn't remember the actor's name that I was thinking of in my head. Yeah. And it was Glenn Powell. Oh yeah, okay. Who or Powell or whatever the hell He's been talking about Batman as well? Yes, he was talking about Batman. But then he's also he was... like shit on superhero movies. I don't remember that. Yeah, he's in a he's in a movie called Hitman, I think, and he like well at least he was kinda of shitting on Marvel about uh it being Constraining, I think. Let me see. Mm. But he's also talking about how he has a new take on. Um, oh, that one. Batman. Uh, oh yeah. Now I'm not. Jesus says Christ. he'd have to. I'll well, take on Batman. Glenn Powell has no interest in starring in Marvel trash. But mm. like, that's Marvel, right? Like. Maybe just... Although he auditioned for Captain America and screwed it up. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. according to himself. Yeah. Anyways, um, according to the report, filming is scheduled for July. Wow, that's crazy soon. Uh, uh, okay. And lead role has been fuck? cast, though there was no mention of which actor had landed the part, considering it's pretty much radio silence on the show since it was first announced. This update seemed a little shaky. Uh, James Gunn has now debunked the rumor. Uh, back in 2022, Gunn asked his social media followers which character has yet to appear in the DCU the most likely to see on screen, and Booster won by some margin. Uh, interestingly, Booster was the most requested character when I asked people on Mastodon. Do people still 
on Mastodon? I feel like I heard a lot about that and now nothing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I <clears throat> apparently like the alternate uh, social media sites have like a couple hundred thousand users. Yeah. I think Mastodon might be over a million. Oh yeah. It was started by it was started by what's his name from Twitter, right? Jack Dorsey? Or he's like no, a partner uh, in or something? That's he might be a partner. Blue Sky is Jack's. Oh, okay. Um where does he debunk this? Oh maybe it's maybe it's maybe I'm blocking his threads thing. <laughs> Anyways, it's not shooting. Um Okay. There it is. Oh, here it is. Okay. Although we're still working on Booster Gold, production isn't imminent, and that story posting is completely false. Um, I also saw uh, that Patrick Schwarzenegger might be up for it for Booster Gold. Booster Gold. Who's that? He's in Gen Z. He's the. He's the. Who's that? Well, I mean, he kind of looks the part. Who's that guy? Uh, that checks out. Yeah, he's what's his name in Gen Z. You know, that guy. Yeah, hey, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, Batman Long Halloween sequel series announced by DC. Okay, first of all, Whoa. Let's turn that off. Um, <laughs> one of the Thank most you, iconic storylines is getting a chapter. On Saturday, during DCL's panel at MCM London, the publisher announced Batman The Long Halloween, the last Halloween, the final act of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, who has passed away last year. Um, Batman The Long Halloween, the 10 part mystery will spin out of the events of 2021's Batman The Long Halloween special. Uh, and we'll see Loeb joined by a number of artists following Sale's passing in 2022. Uh, for the debut issue, Loeb will be joined by fan favorite artist Eduardo Rizzo. Who did 100 Bullets, Detective Comics, Batman Laughs, Dave Stewart, and Richard Starkings, uh, with art for future issues of the series provided by some of the top artists, including Klaus Jansen, Mark Chirello, Chirello, and others. Uh, Batman The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween, is Tim Sale's parting gift to me. Tim and I, are, Tim and I had already decided to tell this last chapter following Batman The uh, Long Halloween special, which will serve as a prologue for this 10 part action packed mystery. There's the first cover. There's another cover. Oh, I like that cover, actually. Yeah, I like that cover quite a bit. There's Penguin. That's, that's all right. Riddler. That's kind of cool. Yeah, um, so this comes out Wednesday, September 4th. This is issue number one. Um, nice. Obviously, the first one is a classic. I never got around to... They did two animated movies of it, and I never got around to watching part two. Did you watch it? I don't. I don't know if I watched part two. Um. What's his name from uh, Supernatural? Is the voice of uh, Batman? Uh, Eccles. Yeah, Jensen Eccles. Um. Which uh, I guess his uh, partner there, Walker Texas Ranger. What's who's the other guy? Jared Padecki. Yeah. Uh. Well, his show got canceled. And then I just I That's said to my wife I'm like oh how long is it going to be before he's in the boys, and then I the next day I saw Kripke saying hey I'm going to try and get Plecky in. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask how long it's going to take for him to show up in that prequel fucking to uh, Supernatural. Oh that that's dead. It had one Could... season. It's dead now. Yeah, yeah they can't they canceled after one season. No I don't think anybody Stunning. watched it. I. Uh, okay, some uh, Green Lantern news. Uh, James Gunn officially announces the Max Very Creative exciting. Series. Well, hold on hey. now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> following some recent rumors, DC Studios co-head James Gunn has officially announced a creative team for the long-awaited Green Lantern Max Series, which will be titled Lanterns. Uh, Emmy Award-winning Lost and Watchmen creator Damon Lindloff will work on the pilot script along with previously reported Ozark showrunner Chris Mundy and acclaimed comic book writer Tom King. Quote, yes, it's true. The Lanterns DCU series is putting together a crack team of writers based on wonderful pilot script and Bible by Chris Mundy, Tom King, and David Lindloff. Uh, Gunn captures post by saying a hearty welcome to Chris and Damon as they join the DC Studios family. Um, so there you have some artwork. Maybe uh, what they might look like. Uh, so, um, 
yes, I enjoy... Listen, loss is its own thing. It mm -hmm. tanked by the end, I think. Everyone just didn't like yeah. the ending. Mm -hmm. Felt like they didn't really have an ending for a number of seasons. Okay. I just kind of made it up to say went a lot. Um, God, no. Ozark was fantastic. So we have the showrunner from Ozark. Whether that's Chris Mundy or Jason Bateman, why Ozark was fantastic, I guess we'll find out. Mm. Well, he oh, Ozark is Jason Bateman. Like, he directed a lot of the episodes and wrote a lot of the episodes. Yeah, I feel like it's a, a good chunk of that is Bateman's baby. And then Tom King, who is a fantastic comic book writer, sometimes mm -hmm. controversial. Some people don't like his Batman run. Some people do. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a good starting point. However, at one point, James Gunn described <laughs> Damon Lindelof as a total scam artist with no integrity. <laughs> oh, right. Um, we'll if there's be. one thing we learned in the social media age, it's that some people have a very good memory. Uh, earlier today, it was confirmed that Max's Lanterns has tapped Chris Money, Tom King, and Tim Lindelof to pen the pilot and the Bible for long awaited series. Way back on March 18th, 2012, Lindelof, quote by James Gunn, is Lindelof is close to Satan in my book because of the end of Lost. He's the Yuri Geller of storytellers. <laughs> A total scam artist with no integrity whatsoever, and a liar. Uh, so, 12 years have passed. I guess they kind of made up. Money talks, I guess, for Damon putting putting that insult behind him. <laughs> I mean, people were pretty upset at the end of Lost, so it could just be an emotional reaction to a show that people loved. Um, oh, listen, I really liked Watchmen. Um, that was also kind of controversial. Uh, I thought Watchmen was. Yeah, Watchmen amazing. was great. Yeah. So maybe he's uh, he's gone past his scam artist uh, tendencies. Well, I mean, James Gunn has said a lot of things that he takes back, so. <laughs> and has been fired over it at least once. Yeah, so, I mean, we're on what? Uh, roundabout number four on this one? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm getting a little tired of it, so let's just make the shit and make it good. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's. I think it's a good team. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Who knows when this will come out? 2026, maybe. I would say 2026 if we're lucky. Um, I, if I'm being realistic, I think it's going to be promoted and pushed for uh, spring of 2026. Okay, that gives them. Yeah, okay, give them two years. Two years to make it, plus it'll be probably ten episodes, so it'll take... It's less than two years, it's a year and a half. Take four or five months to film, because it's TV yeah. and not... Yeah, the rest of it. If it's going to be yeah. more Earth-based, it's probably not going to be a ton of special effects, I would think. Then they could focus on some really good ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, which would be really cool. Okay, well, that's been DC News of the Week. Thanks.